12. Don't be loyal to brands. Did you know that Warren Buffett's suits are made by a small-time Chinese suit maker named Madame Lee and not from the highest brand names? He says that she makes him excellent suits and that they've lasted him a lifetime. Companies with popular brands know that people buy their products irrespective of the price point. This allows them to make the price of their products higher, regardless of quality, because they know the price point doesn't matter to their buyers. So, when you're looking to buy high-quality items, check to see the quality of the competition's no-name brand before making a purchase. 11. Make a grocery shopping list. It's normal to go to the grocery store for a basket full of items and end up coming out with a cart full of them instead. Don't beat yourself up about it, though, because grocery stores are designed to draw you to sales through methods like having sales items close together or making low-price options in hidden and hard-to-reach spots. Fortunately, there's an easy way around this, and that's through creating a grocery list. Creating a grocery list effectively should be done over time, and as you notice that you're running low on food. After about a week, when your list has enough for a proper grocery trip, go out, bring your list, and make sure you cross every item as you place it in your cart to prevent you from buying unnecessarily. We've listed what a good grocery list includes here, along with the best grocery list apps you can find on your phone here. Some of them are already on your phones, with no additional downloads and installation needed. Let us know in the comments which apps you find are the best, and our viewers should know about them. Bonus tip, never go grocery shopping on an empty stomach. You end up buying items from outside your list. 10. Maintain a planner. Planners are an awesome way to make sure you can reach your savings goals exactly how you want to. They allow you to post pictures and interact with them in a way that makes it easier to reach your goals by making the process fun and enjoyable. According to Investopedia.com, the best overall planner of 2022 is from YouNeedABudget.com. But if you want to take the best free option available, check out GoodBudget.com. Let us know in the comments below if you've used these before. 9. Live below your means. It can be easy to live above your means, especially when you start fulfilling all your wants. Buying the newest phone, new trendy sneakers, or a piece of clothing, an expensive watch, a better car, and bigger homes, we are all guilty of that. Unfortunately, ignorance of spending usually results in someone digging themselves into debt and pulling someone further away from financial independence. Start a budget to see where you overspend and which costs to reduce or remove completely. For example, Warren Buffett still lives in the same house he bought in 1958 for $31,500, even though he could literally afford an entire private island and have the choice between a helicopter or private jet to get there. He also drives a 2014 Cadillac XTS that at the time cost around $45,000. 8. Reduce your utility usage. You can't escape using a lot of electricity especially if you have a family. However, there are several easy ways to lower your electricity bills. 1. Take shorter showers. You wouldn't believe how much you can save with this one. 2. Dry your clothes on a rack instead of the dryer. 3. Only do laundry when you can run a full load and use a cold water option. 4. Always pick the energy efficient mode on your appliances. 5. Change all your bulbs to energy efficient bulbs. 6. Use natural light when it's available. All these tips will save you money and are much more sustainable for the planet. 7. Make your own coffee. Most people can't start their day without a cup of coffee from Starbucks or some other local coffee shop in the morning and refuse to cut it from their budget. However, you can easily get that wonderful flavor for a fraction of the price by making it yourself at home and stop damaging your savings in a big way. If we look at Warren Buffett, he only eats breakfast for, at most, $3.17, according to an HBO documentary, Becoming Warren Buffett. And believe it or not, you can do better than him. If you decide to take your food and drinks into your own hands, then you can save a lot of money weekly. Before I show you the more valuable and exciting money-saving tips, give this video a thumbs up. And if you find the video useful at any time, subscribe to Investors Weekly to encourage my efforts. 6. Go over your costly expenses. It's good to look over your major expenses that use up most of your income because you may be able to save thousands of dollars very easily. Start with checking your bank statement for the last month and highlighting your biggest costs. Then see which ones can be reduced or if you can find alternatives. 
Allocate some time to compare your car, home and health insurance, utilities and phone service contracts, food expenses, commuting expenses, and many more. We've taken the time to compile a list of expenses that are unnecessary, but people seem to spend a lot on them. You can pause and see if there are some you can reduce. Find some apps that offer coupons and discounts. If you earn $40,000 and use coupons for 5% on purchases of everyday use, you will save $5,000 per year. Not too shabby. 5. Stick to cash. The convenience of credit cards is a double-edged sword. It allows you to make purchases quickly and easily, but it can also put you into a world of hurt by dredging you into unwanted debt. At the end of the day, sticking to cash, the money you actually have, is the only way to know you're only spending what you have. When you use a credit card, you spend money that you don't have. From another perspective, cash produces a psychological phenomenon because you have to physically let go of something you possess. This act alone makes you want to preserve your cash as much as possible. It should come as no surprise to you that the famous Warren Buffett uses cash 98% of the time when making purchases. 4. Use the 50-30-20 rule The 50-30-20 rule is an excellent start to creating a well-balanced budget. It allows you to have a well-balanced life where you keep enjoying the things you love while saving money. It splits your on-hand income in a way that makes sure every dollar is being used in the best way. In this case, 50% of your income goes to needs. So, for the necessary payments like food and bills, 30% of your income goes to your wants, and 20% goes into investing and savings. This rule lets you afford your basic needs, pay for your desires, and still save and invest to secure your future. 3. Know the difference between wants and needs. Understanding the difference between wants and needs can either propel you into financial independence or make you broke. By looking at your expenses, you can quickly spot how some wants maybe have become needs through compulsive buying. If you want to save money, you need to be able to separate your wants from your needs. For example, you can ask, can I live without this pair of shoes? Can I live without this new phone? Can I survive without eating this takeout meal? Take some time and ask yourself about purchases you've been thinking of making to see if they are truly needs or if they're just wants. 2. Check and fix yourself. How you generally think makes all the difference in saving money and your prosperity. It's important to use your resources in the best possible way, but focusing only on frugality is not enough to save the most. The best approach focuses not only on how much you keep, but also on how much money you make. So, focusing on increasing your income, then saving and being frugal, and then investing are the best three-step formula to financial freedom and cultivating a proper mindset. Before I show you the last tip, what sort of mentality do you have? Do you focus rather on keeping life simple and saving as much as possible, or thinking more boldly about increasing your income in the near future? 1. The 30-Day Rule With online shopping and credit cards, buying has never been easier. So, we frequently purchase items we do not actually need. A way around this is to take 30 days to think about an expensive item before purchasing it. Okay, at least one day or a week if a month is too much. Place an item, like a new computer screen, gaming console, shoes, or power tool in your shopping cart and leave it there for ideally 30 days. After the time's up, you'll know if you really need the item or if it was an impulse desire. I'm extremely happy to see you are still here. It must mean you enjoyed the video, and I would be grateful if you subscribe to the channel for extra motivation for creating more similar videos.